sexy, super fabulous, and super desirable Soraya Suladal. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my show. Now, you're in a brand new kitchen. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, we're gonna, now, you know the last cooking show that I did, I was all about the pink kitchen, right? And I was, it was so beautiful and I was so happy. The pink kitchen is fabulous. But I decided for various reasons to change the color of the kitchen. The kitchen is now blue, green. I, I love it. It's magical now. So you can see I painted the cabinets. Me and Junita Perez painted the cabinets blue. We primed them. We painted over laminate. We, like I said, I painted it. We put a, a pro, a, an acrylic paint sealer on it, three coats. I just think it looks beautiful. It's not done because I got to touch up. But we have a green, green apple ceiling. We have um, a Toronto blue and what's called the Midnight Blue on uh, uh, Benjamin Moore. I retiled. I painted these cabinets. The countertops I painted as well. I painted. So I said without painting. I got to take some credit for the work. With epoxy paint that you use on like uh, to refinish your bath, bathtub, sink. It came out beautiful. And then I did an apple green desk. I wanted to distinguish this area as like a, like a desk to work from. And I love it. I changed the handles. Um, it just looks amazing. We took the microwave down. Camera person, you can come here. Uh, look how beautiful the blue. And like about, it's a little late now, it's 6.40, but like at 5.30 when the sun comes through, you see different shades of this. One blue makes different shades. This paint is great for Benjamin Moore. But we got a new hood range, took the microwave down because it's better spacing. For cooking, I felt to leave this very open. Uh, all the knobs are not back on my oven because I'm going to paint the knobs as well. I uh, don't know. I love this stove, but we'll see. But I love the kitchen, and I found this fabulous blue dress that I just adore. I love this dress. I would pay fourteen forty nine for an express dress, honey. Yes, and these are some new heels that I got. They're so comfortable, and they're so cha cha. I love them. How do I look? I feel fabulous in this dress. So, this is my new kitchen. Look at the tile. Look at these two tiles right here. <laughs> no, I love it. It just looks great. It looks like a... It feels like so wonderful. And look. Look at it. Mr. Bobby Food Processor is like, Oh, Soraya, we love the kitchen. Mr. Phillips Air Fryer is like, Soraya, we love the kitchen. <laughs> My mother and father aren't here yet, and as far as their pictures. And Marilyn comes back soon. I had to redo the refrigerator when I took the pink Marilyn off to put probably a green Marilyn decal. And I'm going to probably do the handles green to match the decal. So, um, and to match the green on the tile, to match the apple green on the ceiling. I am, do you know that Cabinet refacers wanted like up to twelve thousand just to reface my cabinets, and I wouldn't be sure because Soraya Sobrado is so damn picky. I would I could spend nine thousand dollars and they bring that color in here. And I'm like, oh no, that color's just not working. Because I really wanted uh, apple green uh, cabinets, and then I did went on blue, and I love it, love it, love it. I saved nine thousand dollars. You know what I'm going to do with that $9,000? I'm going to put it either on my face or on my ass. <laughs> One of the two spots are going to get an update. <laughs> That's what I'd rather do with $9,000. So, and we have Marilyn Monroe here. We have Donna Summer here. Did you, camera person, did you get that? Isn't that beautiful? It's a real record. And then we have Marilyn Monroe there with pineapple that I'm going to eat later. Oh, I love her. So. Those are the updates of the kitchen. The microwave is hidden, like other things are hidden. <laughs> Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe, well, I'm the one to see. Friday rolls along, you wanna be a mess on the Welcome to my show. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. 
my show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Ah. Oh. And today we have Soraya Sobredas, Zango de Camarones. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, shrimp, low-fat, and absolutely delicious. My name is the super sexy, super fabulous, and super desirable Soraya Sobredas. Welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my show. Now, today's recipe, we're doing uh, Zango de Camarones. Now, a very good friend of mine told me that his mother makes this dish, and I'm like, Zango de Camarones, what's that? So he told me, and then I kind of looked it up, and I'm like, oh, I looked it up online, and I'm like, okay, 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 very cute. It's like the Puerto Rican pasteles, in my opinion, but not wrapped in parchment paper, not wrapped in banana leaf, not wrapped up in any of that, but um, you have plantain, plantain like the uh, like the pastel plantain. And I don't know, it just reminds me of it because it just does. Even though pasteles have beef or pork, this has shrimp and it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. So we're gonna go through the ingredients. So. And tell me, I love this dress. I'm just gonna show it off just a little bit. I feel pretty, I feel witty, I feel pretty and witty and gay and no pity that a fabulous Bobby shouldn't be here for me to cook him dinner in this way. Ba -da -la, 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 la la I'm cooking gluten free and it's sugar free and it's healthy Latin cooking that I'm doing. And my name is Soraya and I'm known for all this fabulousness. Ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> oh I love doing my little songs but Zango de Camarones is what I believe is an Ecuadorian dish. And it's so fabulous, okay? The base of the zango de camarones is green plantain. Now, I'm probably going to use 8 to 10 ounces, but I have three of poppy plantain, one of my best friends. Uh, I love poppy plantain. I love, it's like so common in so many Latin dishes, Puerto Rican dishes. This being an Ecuadorian dish, the same. The plantains are a staple, okay? Staple in our diet, staple in this dish. What we do with the green plantain, we're going to chop them up and we're going to make a puree. And Papi Food Processor from Cuisine Art is so happy to be on the show. Uh, he's been fighting with Philips Air Fry. I keep telling him he is the main honcho in this kitchen. Without him, none of, none of these recipes I would have to be grading right by hand. So, Papi Food Processor, Papi Chulo, don't worry about Philips Air Fry because you're number one Chulo. And he is. So, the Papi Food Processor is going to puree the platanos, the plantain. I'm going to get it to a nice puree, just like the pasteles, the same thing. Um, so we have three plantains. Um, we're probably going to use eight to ten ounces. We have a plum tomato that we're going to dice up and we're going to put in to the dish. I'll explain how we're using the tomato later. We have half an onion that's going to be chopped, so you'll need that for the recipe. We're using uh, shrimp, zango de camarones, I don't know what zango means. I know what sangaro means. You don't want to know what that means. But sangre de camarones, camarones, is shrimp. So I have eight ounces of shrimp here. I mean, you could take a look. You've seen shrimp. But this is fresh shrimp that's been, um, you know, the peeled and the vein, whatever you want to call it. What do they call it? The vein? Whatever, you know, cleaned. <laughs> I have fresh cilantro. We're going to garnish, garnish with the fresh cilantro. Um, I have this type of peanut butter, which is called better than peanut butter. And it's low sodium, it's a low sodium one. It has less fat, has a little bit of added sweetener to it, which is okay. But it's so delicious. I mean, I could use twice the amount of this, still get that full peanut butter flavor without all the fat. And so I, but I love this. This is really, really good. So we're using this as opposed to like traditional peanut butter. And they have the healthy peanut butters that don't have any added sugar. The natural peanut butter, Smucker's has some. This, um, the fat is very low, like I said, and it's just a smooth, very peanut butter taste. And it's just lower in fat, so that means I can have a little extra. Uh, we're using cooking spray, and I like using a combination of cooking spray flavors. I love using a coconut oil. In this case today, we have Pam. But there's a couple of other brands, like the Trader Joe brand is very, very good and so economical, $2.99. This was like, I think, $3.99 or $4.99. Pam was a little bit more expensive. We're using uh, Goyo Dobo. We're going to watch the salt on this. I'll, I'll tell you later why. Because you just want to. But anyway, 
Uh, I'll tell you later. We're using turmeric for coloring. You know how I love turmeric and the anti, uh, it's an antioxidant, uh, anti-cancer uh, additive that's very good for you for that, in that way. I might have the zambu de camarones with a side of kasha. We'll see how the heat in the kitchen goes since I'm in the kitchen and it gets really hot to begin with. <laughs> and then when we turn on the burners, it gets really, really hot. So I'm going to see. As far as different flavors of cooking spray, like I said, we're also going to use butter. And we're probably also going to use quinoa. As far as fat, I don't have it on the counter, but we're also using uh, an organic peanut oil because we want to bring a nice peanut flavor to this dish. We're going to use some garlic powder. We're going to use a little bit of ginger and um, I have some fresh uh, sofrito that I made just today. Absolutely fresh. So we're going to add some sofrito. Now maybe you have seen my video where I make my own sofrito. What is sofrito? It's a Puerto Rican base to our foods for flavor and for all of our dishes. It has green pepper, um, cilantro, it has Mexican cilantro, which is called regal. Uh, it has onions and it has fresh garlic, and it's pureed. And Papi Food Presser was busy at work earlier today preparing all of that, making this sofrito for me. So thank you, Papi Food Presser. And I did the chopping and I just, he did most of the work. He's happy to, to be of service to Soraya Sobrega on his show. Getting top billing here. I love him. Um, so let's see if I'm missing anything. I, don't think that, I think that's it. We're going to use uh, trusty Cuisinart. And Cuisinart is sending Sarasa without a new coffee maker this week. I'm getting it this week. I'm so happy. Whatever I want from them, I ask them. They call. And I call them and they deliver it. They're so fierce. We have this organic uh, peanut oil from Spectrum. Spectrum is a really great brand for uh, the organic oils. So we're going to use probably a tablespoon of this. Um, excuse me. Another thing I didn't mention, um, when you peel the shrimp, the skin, the shells actually, you're going to boil the, the, the shells. And I just need a little bit of broth. This is the shell of the shrimp, so it's a seafood broth. So we have a little bit of the broth that we're going to add, and I'll go through all the steps with you. And another secret ingredient, I'm going to give it away here, I didn't want to do it, but I like keeping a few secrets to myself. You must try this Red Bull fish sauce. It's almost empty. Um, for fried rice dishes, if you want like that fish flavor in fried rice, this dish has a fish flavor component. Um, so along with the stock of the shrimp that has that shrimp flavor, we're going to add a couple of drops of the Red Bull fish sauce 40, number 40. It's really, really, really good. Okay. Um, if there's any other ingredients that I missed, it'll come up in the recipe. Because this was a last minute thing I decided, you know, I haven't done an episode in a while. The month was about painting this kitchen. Because I painted it one shade of blue and green and then decided that it wasn't, it didn't have enough pizzazz for me. So I went back and chose these colors which worked much better. So it was a whole month, oh my god, not really a month, but like three weeks of getting the kitchen together. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta do a show! So thank God the cameraman was able to come on the last minute and able to help out because it's so nice when I have a cameraman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the tape because I'm going to chop up some of the plantain to get ready to puree. I'm going to dice the tomato. I'm going to dice the onion, chop the onion up a little bit, and then we'll be back. Okay? This is Mr. Plantain. This is how you do it. You slit them. Now if you can put plantains, like this is a trick that my mother told me and it works like if I'm making pasteles and I'm doing a lot of these then I'll do what I'm going to tell you uh, which is this is a tip my mother gave me you get a big pot of cold water and you slit the plantains and then you let the plantains you almost like unpeel them in the cold water something about the water when it gets underneath the skin makes it easier to peel but these were really nice to Soraya today because that one in particular the skin just came right off sometimes it takes a little bit of work. So what you do is, and I've done this in one of my videos before, you just cut the ends, you do a slit, you do a slit. You know, if you have some nails, that helps. I've been growing my nails longer because I have Invisalign. And Invisalign, in the beginning, I didn't have my nails long. And it was so hard to take out. Oh my God, I was like wrestling with my mouth and puppet. People are like, what's wrong with her? She's got her 
fingers in your mouth. Because you got to take them off when you have to eat. It's like, oh my God. So that one too. Can look really easy. We're probably going to make all three. Uh, so we're, it's going to be more than 10 ounces. But we're going to weigh it. I got that cute little scale over there that I love. Brand new scale, food scale. Make sure my posture is nice because I want to look as fabulous in this dress as possible. Look at these sleeves. Let's just look at this dress. Look. It looks like, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> I just love it. I, you ever go shopping and you see something and it's like you gasp? It's like, oh. and it was $14.99 and they had like a little discount. It was like $14.49. I'm like, you can't beat that. Okay, so we're not, these are just going to stay here like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, and we're going to have to work fast because we just, we didn't put up any additional lighting. Carmen, the light looks good there still, right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. So what we're going to do is, we're going to grab the bra. Yeah, we're going to grab the bra. Turn on the sofa. We're probably going to move to this, I hope, pretty quickly. So the bra is there. And because I saved the broth, it's, it's a little frozen. Okay, not a problem. And actually, we're going to come to this one. So we have a non-stick skillet. It's on high now, just so I can get that broth to defrost. We have sofritas. Super sexy, super slamming sofrita. Now, I have a tablespoon. And we're going to get maybe two tablespoons. No, three. Okay, cool. So now that's in there like that. And so what we have there is the broth and the sofrito. You know I like to always reiterate what we've just added and how we're doing it. Now we have peanut oil and a tablespoon of fat. I like to go little on the fat, low on the fat because besides the peanut oil, we're going to use the cooking sprays. You know, and that has added fat. Always better than frying, but the cooking spray is still like that. Speaking of the cooking sprays, now I'm going to start grabbing them. I like the coconut and the butter. The butter because it's shrimp, right? So butter and shrimp, you know, you know, like shrimp scampi is, is a butter sauce, right? So I want a butter flavor. But right now what I'm using is the coconut. And the coconut is because it's like, this is like almost like a Thai, Thai dish. Like the coconut with the shrimp. And the peanut butter is really fabulous. So what you see here is the broth. You see here is uh, the sofrito. Then I'm going to spread it out a little bit. Because what I always like to do with my sofrito, garlic, onions, and all of that is to brown it a little bit, cook it a little bit first. So what we're going to do is I've diced up onions and tomato. First we're just going to add all the onion, which is a half an onion. And it's not that, you know, finely chopped, because I'm not much of a chopper, but that's okay, let me get it in there, alright, so that's going on, and we'll add cooking spray as needed, we're going to go here and start adding the spices, okay, what we're doing is getting the broth, um, the liquid component of this dish together, right, all the flavors. So the sofrito regal has garlic in it. I still like, um, I'm Latina, so I like my garlic. What was that? Maybe a quarter teaspoon. I like adding ginger, and the dish typically does not have ginger. But because to me, I'm lending, leaning over to a Thai kind of, exotic Thai Latin kind of thing, I'm adding ginger. I'm going to lower the heat because now this is starting to like really cook up. And now this is what's going to give us color. It's a turmeric. It's a natural food coloring. Now you don't want to put too much because it ends up being bitter. So we just add, what was that? Another quarter teaspoon, that's it. And we got to watch the salt here. And I see that because of the fish sauce. It's a little salty. So if you need to add salt later, but I just added the adobo. What we're going to do is let it cook up a little bit. I'm going to put the spices to the side. I'm going to bring the fish sauce, which I don't know why, with the red bowl, as fabulous as this is, this cap is like so hard to open after this cap. 
this. It's gonna jump up that fish flavor. I would say that's half a teaspoon. And you're gonna add as much of this to your liking. Less fish sauce, taste, more fish sauce, taste, again, to your liking. Right, I'm leaving the cooking sprays there. I'm gonna leave the fish sauce spray, or the fish sauce, sauce itself, I'm gonna leave that by the sprays there as well. This is gonna cook up. So, um, let me just give this a second here. Am I missing anything? At this time now, I'm going to put up the heat. I want some of that liquid to boil down. So while we're waiting for that liquid to boil down some, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to bring the plantains over. To Papi processor. I know, he does, you don't hear me talk. I'm the only one that can hear Papi food processor talk. And right now he's saying, oh my gosh, so Ryan, you haven't touched me in three weeks, Ryan. And I'll respond because I'm a woman in the And I'll say to him, Bobby, from process, you know what's in the kitchen? He's like, yes, I'm so happy you're done. That's what he's saying. And I'm like, yeah, me too. He's like, well, it's a ride. We're doing the show, right? And I'm like, yes, Bobby, from process, and we are. And he's so happy. No, watch, 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 watch. He's like, oh! He's like, where's my mom? He's like, I'm a mamita, gracias, I'm a lisando. I'm like, Bobby. Come closer. So, sometimes you need to pull certain items because they're super chunky. I'm going to leave it on because I'm going to go back to the show over here. Now the tomatoes we add for color and gives it a little bit of thickness. You want to go with that? What we're going to do now is let the tomatoes cook just a little, a little down. Okay? And then we're going to add the shrimp and cook the shrimp. Okay, so, and with this dish here, as with any, we all have preferences, right? We love the color blue, we love the color pink, we love wearing dresses, we love wearing pants, we favor facial hair, we favor MAC makeup, but I want a little bit more color of the turmeric, so I just add a little bit more turmeric. So you will look at your dish, which you're going to enjoy. Whatever that dish is, male or female. <laughs> In this case, it's not very And you say to yourself, Am I, do I want it just a little bit more golden? So you add a little bit more turmeric. Um, do I want more of a fish taste to it? You add a little bit more fish sauce. Okay? Now, the goal with this, at this stage, of course, the goal is to make it taste phenomenal, right? Fabulous. But what you want to do is, Cook this up. I think I'm ready. Um, cook this up. I'm gonna add the shrimp whole, but I really advise with this dish cutting them in half. And I love, I love these protectors for the counter. You know, they, I had them such a long time ago, not these same ones, in a different kitchen many, many years ago when I first started getting my apartments. And I don't know why I went away from using them. They're like. So handy, you can put a hot item there. I mean, you really shouldn't because it's classic. It might melt, but it really protects your counter. So what we're gonna do is, we have seafood, I wash my hands, I wash the cutting board. I like this chop just a little bit. Put this over here, Donna Summer doesn't mind. She's in the spirit, I love Donna Summer. This kitchen is a Donna Summer Marilyn Monroe kitchen. So as you can see, I turned it off, which is fine. I'm going to get it back up. Now, the broth that's in there, the liquid that's in the pan, is going to help that shrimp cook. The goal at this stage of cooking is to cook the shrimp. All right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. And then I'm going to put this up to a high boil. And then we'll be back. Maybe we won't be back because the cameraman just loves having that camera on and I'm all in favor of that. Cameraman, you just be the way you are. <laughs> now, one of the ingredients that are going to go in there to really give us that peanut butter flavor besides the peanut oil is the better than peanut butter, peanut butter. So you see what's going on here, right? I am going to stir it. Actually, I'm going to keep it on high. 
I just want a little bit of liquid to come down. But while that's going on, I want to taste it. Because this is the foundation of the dish. Now this dish goes really well with rice, but I, I may make kasha go with this. I'm turning it off. Not the camera. I'm turning off the camera. No, no. It's good. Very nice. Very nice. You're not here to know that. But it's very nice. I'm gonna grab a slotted spoon. I'm gonna grab a bottle. Some of the tea cute the tomato. We don't need to overcook it. We don't want to overcook it. But what we're doing is separating some of the solids, including the shrimp, especially the shrimp, and leaving the broth behind. Okay. Take all the shrimp out because the shrimp is already cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. I want to get this hot. So it's starting to boil, which is cool. I hope you don't see my chichos. But tablespoon. Oh my god, this is a heaping tablespoon. I'm gonna put like three of these bad boys in there. Remember, the set of the peanut butter is a very nice, low fat, but oh my god, it has all the flavor of peanut butter. Sango de camarones, honey. There's no zangos in the house here. Never, no sangaros here. Por mucho sango de camarones, vamos a tener nosotros aquí. Que lo va a comer Joy, camera guy. Vamos a jantar de un sango de camarones. So this is where I really 